Welcome back. So today I'm brewing this sort of festival, Pilgrim's Hope Bitter. Fancy brewing something different. I've been brewing a lot of sort of pale ales, particularly hoppy pale ales, um, American style pale ales, lagers, that kind of thing. Something nice that you can drink cold out in the garden in the sunshine. Although I haven't had particularly a lot of that recently in the UK. Um, so I fancy brewing something a little bit different. Uh, I've been meaning to brew a bitter for a while. Uh, my dad also likes a uh, a few bottles of bitter, so he's been agging me as well to uh, to brew something like this. Um, so I thought I'd go with one of these festival kits. I've had a lot of success with the festival kits. In my humble opinion, they are the kind of gold standard of, of kits. Um, you get everything you need in them. Um, I haven't done any of the bitters before. There was a, I think there's a couple in the range, um, but I went for this one, this Pilgrim's Hope. It comes with some dry hops. Um, some Target and Summit hops. So I'm expecting it to come out quite hoppy, maybe sort of edging towards an American style um, hopping, but um, you know, it sounds good. And I've heard good things about it and read and seen sort of videos on YouTube of people saying it's an excellent beer. So um, I thought I'd give it a go. I'm going to be brewing this in my fermentation fridge. That should be my second second one, I think, in the fermentation fridge. Um, so let's have a look what's in the box. As I said, with these festival kits, you kind of get everything you need. That's one thing I really like them. So they are obviously excellent quality, but you kind of get everything in here. So I've got a uh, Nice packet of yeast, 10 grams of beer yeast, best bitter. I have got uh, 50 grams of hop pellets, dark best bitter. So, uh, so the target and the summit um, uh, hop pellets. So they're going to be going in as a dry hop uh, somewhere along the line towards the end of fermentation. You get a nicely weighed out bag of priming sugar. So you haven't got to worry about sort of, you know, looking at the calculator or anything. You can just bung that in your... Uh, bottling bin at the end. You get 500 grams of dextrose and two large pouches of uh, malt extract. So 1.5 kilo pouches, you get two of these with dark best bitter. Um, so this, according to the box, turns out at 5%. All right, so uh, with the two pouches and 500 grams of dextrose will bring it up to 5%. Now, I prefer my beers sort of between the 4.5% four and four and mark, so I'm probably not going to add the whole 500 grams of this dextrose. I'm probably going to aim to add maybe half of it or 200 grams, so I'm going to be only at kind of 4, 4.5% uh, rather than the 5. I don't want it to kind of knock out beers. Um, you also get some instructions with this, um, fairly straightforward, You're just gonna, I'm just going to bung it in the fermenter with some hot water, 3 litres I think from the instructions it says, uh, 3 litres of hot water, boiling hot water obviously, fill it up to 23 litres, pitch the yeast and let it go for probably 10 days, so I think when it says to add the hops after 5 days, something like that, but I'm probably going to leave it a bit longer. Um, before I drive off, but it's straightforward. These kits are so easy to put together. Um, and yeah, so hopefully it'll be done in, I don't know, 10 days, two weeks, be ready to bottle. Um, and then two weeks after that, I guess, it should be ready to drink. So we'll come back then. Let's get brewing. This is obviously the best part of the home brew process, the bit in which you sample your beers. So this is, is of course the Pilgrim's Hope Bitter, it's from the Festival Kit. Um, as you'll see from the start of the video, um, the only variation from the instructions that I made was that I only added 250 grams of the dextrose that came with the kit instead of the 500 gram pack. Um, so I wanted this to end up a little bit more of a kind of session beer rather than one that was gonna knock my head off. So by just adding the 250 grams of dextrose, it finished up at 4.2%. Um, this has now been in the bottle for six weeks conditioning. Um, so let's give it a go, see what it looks like. Using a bit more of a traditional beer glass. 
glass for this one. Uh, it looks well carbonated, but this is kind of it's not quite room temperature, but it's it's not very chilled. It's got a slight chill on it, so um, it's probably going to come out a little bit more carbonated due to that reason. Whoops. All right. Oh dear, probably should have used beer mat. Good job the missus is out. Right, let me just uh, slurp the top off. Ooh. Oh yeah, that's nice. All right, so um, as you can see, it's quite a dark beer. Um, uh, hopefully you can catch that in the light. It's, I wouldn't say it was an amber beer, it's darker than that. Kind of like a nut brown color, I would say. Um, traditional sort of bitter colour, I guess, a dark bitter. Um, it's got a good head on it, obviously. Um, and I know from drinking a few of these already, not today, but previously, um, that the head stays right down to the bottom, so it's good, good head retention. I may have overcarved it a little, but I kind of used the, the, um, the dextrous that came with the kit, but if I did it again, I'd probably uh, chop that down a little. I think 100 grams comes in the bag that you get in the kit. I'd probably chop that down to maybe 85, something like that. Um, but anyway, see what it looks like. What does it taste like? Well, actually, what does it smell like, first of all? So, it smells malty. You get some of the hop coming through. So this has got the American hops, uh, Summit, and, oh, I think it's got Target in it. So the kit says it should kind of be bursting with pine needles and tropical fruit. And that scared me a little bit, because I thought this was going to end up like kind of a, a bitter that had been you know, supercharged with some American hops. I didn't know if that was going to end up a bit weird, but actually it doesn't smell like that. The, the hops really complement the, the malt in this beer. There are some tropical fruit flavours coming through, or aromas I should say. Um, you can definitely smell the tropical fruit. Pine needles I'm not too sure about, but you can definitely smell the fruit. It's almost like a stewed fruit smell to me. Um, what does it taste like? Wow, it's damn good. Really is a nice beer. So, it is malty. It's got a big malty backbone to it, which is really nice. The hops complement it really well. Um, so, I don't know what I was worried about that, but um, I was totally wrong on that front. Um, the hops are perfect in it. It's got, I don't know, the, it's got a stewed fruit sort of flavour just in the background, and I don't know if that's coming from the hops or the malt, but it's delicious. Um, the hops and the malt balance perfectly. You know what, this is a really nice beer. I made this sort of with autumn in mind and putting some aside for October, November when the nights start drawing in and a nice pint of this, sitting watching the TV or something. But to be honest, I don't think they're gonna last that long. It's a really good beer. It's the first time I've done this particular kit, but again, it's one of these festival ones and I've never had a bad one. Excuse me, never had a bad one. Um, everyone you do is excellent. Um, so it's another thumbs up for the festival kits. And definite thumbs up for the Pilgrim's Hope Bitter. I'll definitely be doing that again. Um, and I'm really pleased actually that I've got another uh, festival kit on the shelf which is going on next, which is the Landlord's Pride one. So it's a, it's a bit more of a parallel. I think it's supposed to be a uh, but yeah, what can I say? Um, really pleased with that. I'm going to really enjoy drinking these. I'm going to give some to my dad as well because he's been nagging me about uh, brewing a bitter. So he's going to be really pleased with these. Um, yeah, definite thumbs up from me. Cheers, guys.